Let me ask you something, do you know exactly what is architectural visualization? And also, what are the kind of products those companies or freelancers or studios are offering to the market? So in this video, I'm gonna answer you all those questions really quickly. If you don't know me, my name is Augusto Cesar. I've been working with architectural visualization for about six years so far. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you what is exactly architectural visualization and what we are exactly doing in this world so far. So before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification bell. So when I post a new video, you will know it, okay? Without further ado, let's get started. What is architectural visualization? What is ArcVis? So ArcVis is about communication. ArcVis is, a, is the art to find the best and quickest way to deliver and communicate architecture for another person. So architectural visualization is not about just take some interior stuff and make it look beautiful. No, architectural visualization is about to communicate that architectural stuff in the most efficient way possible. So to communicate architectural, architects and artists will do whatever they need and use whatever to they can use to do that so they will use drones they will use 3d they will use CAD softwares or blender SketchUp, 3ds max Maya they will use uh, animations AR stuff uh, virtual reality everything that we can put our hands on and use to communicate architecture in the most efficient way possible we're gonna use in ArcVis. So ArcVis is about communication. Well, now we need to understand, okay, we are communicating with someone, but who? Who are the type of people we are communicating with? So this is the second point of architectural visualization. In general, we are communicating with two kinds of people. The first group will be the technical people, people who work in the architectural field, like engineers, architects, other people on the team, actually. So architectural visualization will be used in the production of the proper stuff in an architectural company. Second, we have the final client, someone who would buy that project or someone who would invest their money on that. So we need to deliver an architecture that will seduce those people. So in those two groups of architectural visualization, we need to understand that those different kind of people will feel better in a different way of communication and a different, a different approach. So we need to drive our architectural visualization projects by knowing who is the final client, who is the viewer for that project. Knowing that architectural visualization is about communication, now what kind of products architectural visualization companies and freelancers are offering to the market? So here is the list. Well, so far we have two big groups of products that ArcVis companies or freelancers are offering to the market. The first group is still images. Images that you can post on social media, that can print it or do whatever you want, that are easy and quick to see and understand. The second big group is about the interactive stuff. So animations, VR, AR, anything that you can use to interact with real-time stuff and so on. So, based on those big groups, we have the basic products that you can provide as a freelancer or an architectural company. The first and most important, in my opinion, is the still image of the facade of a building. Because the still image will be the, the cover of the book, the thing that will drive attention, the thing that will first get the attention of the client, the thing that will be the most important thing to understand what is that project. So some people are specialized in create architectural visualization only for facades. Here in Brazil, I have students that only do those kinds of jobs because they feel that they can provide a real good quality for facades in architectural visualization. After that, we have the second most important in still image in architectural visualization products, at least for the final client. A lot of people would think that, okay, if the first one is the exterior rendering, the facade, so the second one will be the interior, interior rendering, right? Well, no, that's wrong. The most important still image to deliver after the facade rendering is the floor plan rendering. So the floor plans rendering's are the most important because of a simple reason. The first thing you're gonna look is how the building looks from the outside. Okay, this will make you understand what is that building, what is that project. 
so it will deliver you the identity of the project the facade the building itself the second stuff the floor plan will show a top view of all the interiors on that building so you will understand what's a bedroom what is a living room what is a kitchen where is the pool where is something else in your in your project no matter what the floor plan will be the most important thing to see in architectural visualization because it's the second thing you're gonna see. So you understand the outside in the facade, you will understand the interiors in the floor plan renderings. After that, we have the interior renderings. So the interior renderings is a little down in this hierarchy because first you understand how the build looks, secondly you understand how it works from inside so you now feel familiar with the building in the interiors you know where the stuff is distributed in that space and now you are going to interact understand how you would feel inside that place so knowing where you are you will be more familiar with that space and the chances of you feel more connected to that space will be higher so for that reason the interior renderings are a little bit below the floor plan renderings but they are also a product that architectural visualization firms and architectural visualization companies and freelancers as well deliver for the final projects after that we are starting to go in the interactive stuff so we are now going to the animation part so animations can be very expensive depending on the kind of small movie that you are creating for architectural visualization but those animations are made to make the client feel the space in movement to have a little bit of interaction and feeling on that space what that means that means that architectural visualization with animations will drive the attention of the client as a movie make the client grow through the space in the way the architectural visualization um, artists create that animation to do that so it's really really important to make an animation that does not feel boring this is a thing that i really hate about architectural animations in youtube so far because most of those animations are really beautiful they are really well made but they are totally boring they are hard to see you don't want it to see until the end because they are boring to watch so you need to do an animation that really brings the eyes attention and make people feel connected to that and to do that in our days we need to do something short something like 15 to 30 seconds and something with a lot of movement a lot of emotion a lot of lights turning on and off things that really catch our attentions connect with the song and everything else so usually people try to create four minutes animations this is crazy don't do that do something short something that catch their attention really fast and when it ends people feels whoa that was amazing now let's go a little bit deeper let's start to go in the interactive stuff so there is a still image that can provide interactive stuff inside of basically any 3d software in my case i use blender but you can use whatever you want and the type of rendering that i'm talking about is the 360 rendering so rendering a 360 image a 360 panorama you can create a lot of those panoramas and cre create a, virtu a virtual tour so using that virtual tour to guide your client to allow him to interact with, the, with that space you have more chance to allow your clients to connect with that space and this is a really good stuff to do because this is the most important part in the side of the sales to the client architectural visualization stuff you know so the client needs to be to feel connected the client needs to have something to really understand and to really feel about the space so interact with 360 rendering panorama would be great to give the client that going a little bit deeper we are now entering in another part in the interactive stuff now we have the interactive game so if you enter the space now you are not constrained to a 360 panorama now you can really move around look up look down move do whatever you want even change colors or something like that in your browser so today in our days we have some applications some custom applications that do that but yeah this is really hard to do in the browser because well we need to work more like a, a video game but a video game for a really low budget console or something with a lot of constraints so everything should be low poly every texture should be as smaller as possible without hurt 
a lot the quality we need to light bake and, and light bake make the light mapping for everything and everything should be static and as faster as possible to load on a browser application can be a little trick to do but can be really effective to sell ideas for your client going further we have the architecture visualization using a gaming application a exe file per se so this is what you can do using unreal engine what you can do using also unity godot any kind of game engine that you prefer to use and these kinds of applications are really great because we can create vr experience using that so this is really amazing for deliver the idea of the space but now we are entering in a really really hard stuff to do this is the more artisanal stuff because you need to put your hands and do it one by one piece by piece and even though you have some assets and you have some libraries to work with yeah you need to, optim to optimize a lot of stuff you need to take care of a lot of stuff this is really really hard to do in time consuming as well so for that reason those kinds of applications are really 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 uh, expensive in most of the case if someone is doing that uh, for a cheaper price maybe it's because this person does just don't know how to charge for these kinds of projects because this is really expensive and this is the kind of high-end stuff that companies are looking for to rise on the market and you should really charge the fair price for this kind of product well we just talked about vr stuff which is great to navigate through the space but now we have the final stuff and more in the side of the understanding and communication in our architectural company and this is the ar stuff in my opinion the ar stuff is not that great for the final client because i feel it can be a little bit tricky to understand to move your phone around and do something cool with that but ar applications for the understanding of the project itself it can be really really great vr as well because any <laughs> because the everyone can put a vr headset in their heads and talk about the project but you know those things are expensive but in the end of the day ar is also an option to present architecture so here is the thing, all those options that I'm presenting to you are products that architectural visualization companies and architectural visualization freelancers can provide for clients. But all those options need to fit a specific need of the final client. So if you are doing an AR application and this option does not fit in the needs of the client, so this, this option just uh, does not fit in the purpose of the project so just don't use it if you can deliver the, the message with a still image quicker and easier than creating an animation just do an image because architectural visualization is about communication it's not about to be fancy it's not about to be the best in the world it's about to communicate your architecture in the best way possible so what do you think? Do you know how to develop all those products? Do you think that I forgot some products that architectural visualizations can provide? Well, comment below, I would like to know your opinion about this topic, okay? My name is Augusto Cesar, thanks for watching, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I will see you in our next video. Bye, take care.